LPT request how to preserve our back from hurting as we get older. Go to the gym. Develop muscle to keep yourself in shape as you get older. Stay slim. Keep your weight down to a healthy number. Try not to sit for long periods without walking around and don't stop walking just because you're getting older doesn't mean you can't have a brisk walk once a day. Last thing. Be conscious of your posture. Correct it when you feel yourself slouching. Work out your core. Move your wallet to your front pocket. Work out and do yoga. Stretch. Stretch every day. Yoga if you can muster it. Exercises will help, but will not keep you as flexible as you need to be. 60 year old here. I hurt my back in two places. Damaging four discs 10 years ago. My choice was becoming a pillbilly. Or stretching. I like shitting so the pills were out my back stretches have restored my back to near normal. If I did not stretch twice a day. I'd be in pretty ugly pain with a few days. Good luck and health to you always. Get strong. Core strength especially. Do yoga. Stay flexible. Find ways to make your life demand that you stay healthy. Mobility work flexibility combined with strength. I didn't see enough comments about sleep. 1. Do yourself a favor and invest in a good mattress as you can. With how much time we all spend in bed. It's surprising how many people don't shell out for a good mattress. 2. Good sleep position posture. I won't try to explain it here because I'm not expert. I do try to make sure to always keep my spine in a relatively straight line and have a pillow between my knees so everything is lined upright. Figuring out all that took some adjusting to get used to, but has helped a lot with my own back trouble. Do yoga, drink water, work your wage. Yoga is the answer. I did yoga for six months every day and totally reversed back pain I had been experiencing for years. Don't sit still. Keep moving and changing your position. Sitting on your legs. Crossing your legs. Sitting with the legs up to your chest never stop moving. Also, if you have your legs down, try sitting with your back at a reclining chair angle like 100-130 degrees. Not 90 degrees. Exercise is good, but very individual and you'd have to find what works for you. But this is universal. Working out, especially your back muscles. There are specific exercises for the muscles in your back. It prevents injuries keeps your back healthy. Yoga helps keep your body lined up and gently improves muscle tone. Helps with posture and balance too. Exercise the core and stretch. Good body mechanics when lifting. Yoga, Pilates, specific core strengthening exercises, and massage. Don't get old. It's a trap. Pray that your kids avoid cracks. Lift weights. Do exercises specifically targeting your back. Deadlifts. Rows. Pull-ups. Farmer's walks etc. Even for other big lifts like squat and bench. A strong back is immensely beneficial. Can't emphasize enough how beneficial back workouts are. Keep a strong core. Swap your hurting elderly back for hurting elderly knees and shoulders. In the ambulance service we stopped people from lifting patients with our backs and encouraged people to lift with their knees and shoulders. Back injuries went down but supraspinatus injuries and poletal meniscus injuries shot through the roof. TLDR as you work in a manual job you will get injured. Choose your disability wisely. Work your core. Squats. Crunches. Swimming. Stretch. I haven't seen it said in this thread but posture. Posture and body mechanics e.g. proper lifting mechanics are huge. Focusing on aligning your spine in ways that load the structures properly will reduce abnormal stresses on your body. This can include getting ergonomic chairs desks and even adjusting your seat in the car with maybe 
a lumbar roll to help align everything. Yoga. I say this after a spinal surgery and a car crash in late teens. There are many other wonderful benefits. Too. But yoga helps you stretch. Build strength. Move daily. And keep balanced. Most of us are used to doing tasks that make us hunch forward. Like working at the desk. Being on our phones or just sitting in general. I found that doing exercises like on a reverse row. Machine and stretches that make you straighten or even curve the back in the opposite direction. Have helped me with my rounded shoulders and back pain. Also certain stretches for your hamstrings can help with lower back pain. It's also very important to stay hydrated. Very important. Keep those discs lubed. Mobility exercises every morning especially the thoracic spine. Strength training with proper form that focuses on the posterior chain and transversus abdominis. Flexibility all along the back of the body feet. Achilles. Calves. Hamstrings. Lower and upper back. Try to take a break from sitting as often as possible. Edit forgot to mention always brace your core to support your spine in bending and twisting. Movement and always lift things with proper form even in the day to day. Don't become a bedside nurse or CNA. Deadlifts. Posture. Mobility. Exercise and eat right. Sugar is terrible for your joints since it causes inflammation. Deadlifts and strength training. A massage gun is one of the best investments a human can make. Morning exercise. Stretch and workout. Most people has lower back pain because they sit too much making their hip muscles atrophied and or tight. In addition to all the other good advice here if you work at home, get a sit-stand desk. If your back hurts, don't avoid working out. Just do exercises that will support your back. My back used to hurt more when I worked out less. 5-Minute Morning Workout by Johanna So on YouTube has been a game-changer for me. Every morning before work and almost never get back tension headaches because of it. For only 5 minutes effort a day. Don't skip on abs. Basic planks and sit-ups can do wonders. Me looking through this thread for one weird trick. No longer start your sentences with hold my beer. Strength training. People are terrified if hurting their lower backs but any exercises to strengthen it will help. Protect it. One word deadlift. Learn proper form, good programming, and go heavy. It will bulletproof your back. Stretching every day. Good posture. Don't carry heavy weight without the proper technique. But that's not all. You can't avoid having accidents like falls. Only going to the doctor and a correct diagnosis and treatment can help you prevent back hurting. And, I think there are some genetic and aging risk factors you can't avoid neither. Do lots of different glut stretches. It's all in the ass. Low bar squats and deadlift following an intelligent linear progression. Follow the starting strength program. Don't sleep on your stomach. Other people have already mentioned the big lifestyle changes working out, doing yoga, stretching etc. So I'm just going to add a small change you can make that has a big impact walk barefoot. And take care of your joint health. Walking barefoot helps keeping your overall posture aligned foot, ankle, knee, hips. It helps with balance and proprioception too. I would recommend walking barefoot or in socks whenever possible and using minimalist barefoot style shoes whenever you can as well. They have a zero drop. A wide toe box for toe splay. Wash dishes while seated and her legs in the cabinet under the sink. I googled like two years ago. Cause my back was always cooked after doing dishes. And I saw something about this. Been doing ever since. Now it's mostly a breeze on my back. Orthotics help too.